March 23rd, 2019, I will hit my four year lock anniversary, y'all. Four years. Wow. You know, I oftentimes wonder how I even made it this far. I mean, everybody knows going through the locking process, or what we all like to call the ugly stage, is an adventure in itself. But I chose to endure it. I chose to test myself in the ultimate way to prove I had the patience. I never would have thought I'd even make it this far, to be quite honest. I never even imagined learning such valuable lessons along the way either. But here I am, and here you are. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my journey. The year was 2007 that I did my big chop. I did it myself and the reason behind it wasn't anything deep either. It was simply because I put a relaxer and dye in my hair and it was some old funky duo type of box with the color in it child. And let's just say it made your girl bald headed. Now I wasn't a damn she bald headed bald headed type of bald headedness. but. She was still bald headed. So I went through this phase where I was trying to salvage the hair I had, trying to hide the fact that I really didn't have much hair anymore. But I grew to a point where I got tired of being so creative and extra with my styles. So I chopped my hair off. But I still was afraid to let go of some of my relaxed ends. So as you can see in the picture, you can see like some little straight ends on it. That's where the relaxed part was. Wasn't much, but it was still there. I was 20 years old when I went natural also, and I've been natural ever since. Mind you, I'm 31 now, so you do the math. Big chop number two. Y'all ready to keep this thing moving? So big chop number two was pretty cool. Uh, I experimented with some color. Um, I got tired of the color, so then I started to cut the color out until my hair was completely black again. on Facebook on March 21st, 2015 with one cone coil in my head. I told everyone that I was going to start my lock journey. Because I was doing this method myself, it did take a while for me to get used to the comb coil method. So on March 23rd, 2015 was the actual date that I started. This journey in the beginning was rough, y'all. I'm not going to lie. For someone who was used to changing her hair, for someone who was used to basically just doing whatever she wants to do to her hair, going through the locking process was such a learning experience for me. Um, I truly learned within that first year to love who I am in my most rawest moments. That was something that I've never experienced before, and that is something that I will always cherish. That is an experience that I will always cherish. It's an experience that I wish everyone would be able to go through. The first year was rough. I didn't feel pretty. I didn't feel feminine. I wanted to give up and comb my hair out numerous times. You know, my husband was used to my hair being out. He loved my hair being out. And then all of a sudden I'm like, I'm locking my hair. So it was a bit of a change for for all of us. It was a change for me and it was a change for my husband. Um, but I told him to believe in me and to just be patient with me. And I'm very glad that he was. So we made it to year one and I had 
felt a lot more confident about myself because I had made it through the toughest stages of locking. Made it through the immature stage, the budding stage, the shrinkage stage, and the maturing stage. So, year two. Year two, I spent pretty much styling my hair and curling my hair just to see what I liked, what I didn't like. You know, my hair didn't really grow as much this year, and I was fine with that. It was just more so what I was comfortable with, you know? Now, year three, you couldn't tell me nothing. Okay. <laughs> year three um it was less styling and just more letting my hair be what it is um i embraced my new growth in year three i um embraced more curls i do like my my hair to be like a loose wavy look so i embraced more of the curls and um really i was just you know being me, I, I was getting some hang time, so you know, I was enjoying all that, and you know, I was just feeling sexy and finally feeling pretty about myself. And you know, th year three was it, okay? Year three was my year. Year three is also when I went back and jumped back into YouTube, so year three was an interesting year for me. Um, that's when you guys pretty much jumped in the picture and um i never really showed you guys my lock journey and so this is why i made this video for those of you who are curious on where i started from for those of you um who may think that my hair is not real um this video is for you guys so yeah year three was a pretty easy year girl i felt fine couldn't tell me nothing and it just was what it was going into my fourth year which will be next month um, year four was pretty interesting for me because um, this was my last pregnancy and my hair grew extremely fast um, it was something I've never experienced before and so I really didn't know what to do with it so on top of me being pregnant and lazy here I am having like this major new growth spurt and I just didn't know what to do with it. And so, you know, I started out and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to, you know, have my hair be this long and now my hair is this long and now I'm like, my hair is in my way. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. And so now year four is just me learning all over again what to do with my hair at this length and so now we're on a whole new journey and I'm, I'm interested in seeing the things that um you know the things that I decide to do with my hair and that is it guys I hope you really enjoyed this lock journey video I did enjoy making it but you can follow me on Instagram to um get more of me on a regular basis i am pretty active on instagram i'm a lot active actually and yeah i'll talk to you guys soon bye